Hello guys, and today, I'm going to show you an extremely unlikely checkmate, okay? One that most would not see coming, except somebody who'd spec this up specially. Now, I have the white pieces and my opponent has black, okay? I'm starting at the bottom. Now I decide to try and play in an irregular way. Just because I felt like some variety. Just to try and get a few pawns off the board. This then forced. Going backwards. A bishop exchange. The only way... They could stop that would be to if even move the bishop out of the way. It didn't force it. They could have had to move the bishop out of the way, or they could have uh, moved the queen in the way and sacrificed the queen, which would be silly. So I got a bishop exchange. Now I've got one of the pawns back. I get another pawn back. Now this is where I was really, really stupid. And this was a genuine blunder. And I realised afterwards, after I'd done it. I intended to attack their queen and rook, but forgot it was defended by their knight. And didn't notice the knight until too late. And was punished for it. So I'm now a knight down. Now their rook is quite dangerous near the bottom. I don't like what's going on here. It looks like what they're going to try and do is sacrifice a knight in order to take my queen. So the idea here is that they're going to move the knight to take the pawn. That's their plan. It never happens, but that's their plan to take the pawn. So that then I'm in check, and the only way to get out of check would be to take the knight, which would then mean I would lose my queen. So I move a pawn out, so that I could, I've could i got an escape route for the king. I now move the king out of the way, so it can't do what they intended. Put me in check, but I take the pawn. This was a massive blunder by me, an incredible blunder. I didn't spot it until too late. Now I do lose my queen. I cannot do anything to stop it. Put them in check. And now I'm going to do something very brave, which is stupid because I'm actually down a queen. I'm actually down, but nonetheless, I exchange anyway, and then move a rock up. For some reason, I don't understand, they've actually sacrificed their queen. Maybe they feel that with two rocks against my one, they will easily win. I've no idea, but now I have just three pawns. They have they have four pawns. I have three pawns. They have a knight and two rooks. I have a knight and one rook. I move my rook here. My plan is to try and take their rook. This is my original plan. By getting them into check. They spotted my plan. And so they've castled. To stop me doing that. For now. You'll understand for now in a moment. I'm basically wasting time. 
and also now allowing somewhere for the night to move. Now get me into check and move out of the way. Now it's a dance where Now, although they don't know it at the moment, that is a catastrophic move for them, but they don't know it yet. I now move here. This looks like an incredibly stupid move, but it's very clever. They get me to check. There's only one place I can move, which is here, which is actually what I wanted to do anyway. Now, they think they can easily defeat me by getting a queen. It looks like I think I'm going to just save my queen, save my rook. I'm doing more than that, as you'll see in a moment. I now think to myself, well, I don't, I, I'm going to um, move my rook out the way. This move looks incredibly innocent, but it is absolutely lethal. More lethal than they could ever, ever know. I'd rather hope they would just wouldn't think much of it and just think that I was moving my rook out of the way because I didn't want it to get took. That's partly true. I didn't want to be my book out of the way, but I'd rather hope they would be very greedy and would want a queen. And surprise, surprise, they were greedy and wanted a queen. Now, let's look at the pieces on the board, shall we? So far, I have a rook. Which on the surface doesn't look very threatening at the moment. Too much. It seems, but more than that in a moment. I've got a knight which looks like it's about to get taken off. And that's it. They have three pawns. A knight. A rook. Two rooks actually. No, they've got three. No, I'll start again. They've got three pawns. Two rooks. A knight and a queen. I have just a knight and a rook. If you looked at that position very casually and very quickly, you would assume that white didn't have a chance and that white was going to lose very quickly. You would assume white would lose because, for example, you'd think that perhaps if I didn't protect my knight at the next move it would just take the knight check and then it could you know start using the queen to get a checkmate but what I did next will probably astonish everybody I had to do a move, so I could even move the knight to save my knight, or I could move the king. Now, what I did next will probably astonish you. I moved my king. Check. In fact, it's not only check. I'm not sure about the number of numbers because I'm not an expert on the technical side of chess, but I believe it's now mate in two. To me. They are now in deep trouble. They cannot take. My. Um, my knight. Because it won't get them out of check. They can't move. The king. Because wherever they move the king. They will be in check. They have no choice, no choice, but to sacrifice their rook. It is the only legal move 
possible. But you might think, well, OK, then they've lost a, a rook. So what? You probably would think, and many people might believe, that I would actually try to protect the knight by taking the rook off with the knight. Because that way it looks as if I will save the queen from being taken off by the so the knight by being taken off by the queen and they will also lose a rook but I do something even more astonishing than that I take the rook with the rook checkmate let's look at the pieces they have on the end of, at the end of the game don't forget, just a while back, they had two knights, three pawns, sorry, start again. They had, yeah, they had two rooks, a knight and three pawns, and a queen. I had just a knight and a rook. That was it. Nothing else. And with just a knight and a rook left at the end of the game, they had a queen, a rook, a knight, and three pawns. Let's go back a bit. At this point, most people, a lot of people playing white, would have resigned. Some people playing white at that point, not realising that they had a guaranteed checkmate and that they were now absolutely guaranteed to win as white, would have thought, oh dear, I can't possibly win against a queen and two rooks and several pawns, which could all become queens very easily against just a rook and a knight most many people would have given up many people in fact would have even resigned at this point not knowing they'd already won the match the game immediately yet all i had to do was move my king and i then had a guaranteed checkmate which they could not stop at all The only way to stop this happening was they would have had to have done something before then. One way of stopping it would have been to have moved the pawn. It wouldn't matter if it was one or two places. Just move the pawn out of the way. Now, if I do this, they can move there, and then they can gradually escape. And now, And then they could start to do things like this. Sorry, white's move. Okay, white could decide to be clever and there's not much white can do, really. I mean, white could do a few things, I guess, but It's a totally different game now. And White is pretty much now in trouble. The <laughs> Knight can't move anywhere without... Well, I suppose the Knight... 
I could try to look well okay all that doesn't help they could do a knight exchange that gets a queen they couldn't have stopped black getting a queen and that would be pretty much game over for white realistically White can't really do anything now to win, realistically. It's very difficult. I mean, you'd have to do some really fancy stuff. Even I don't know, in order to win as white now. I think I was doing something like that. I could do that. I could move there. Black can move there. The best white could do is to In fact even that would give the impression that white was going to lose their rock. But if black moves there, checkmate. If instead white moved somewhere else it's just a wasted move because now checkmate so from there i don't think there's anything white could do to avoid a checkmate So anyway, it could have been so different. As I said, because they were greedy and wanted a queen, white won with a checkmate. So there you go, guys. Um, an, un an, an unusual checkmate that you probably wouldn't have expected. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.